So my name's Julie McCrossan and uh, I'm a, a former radio broadcaster and television presenter with the ABC and Network 10 and a, a print journalist. Just over five years ago I got the diagnosis of stage four cancer in my tonsils, tongue and throat. I'm alive over five years later. I can speak and I can swallow. I am pro-radiation therapy. But what I found really traumatic was the immobilization mask, as they're called. I prefer to call them a safety mask. I can remember vividly the first time that I was clicked down firmly in the big green mask because I immediately panicked. I felt my heart rate go force 10. I went red in the face and water, sweat started pouring off me. And I immediately said to the radiation therapist who'd clicked me down, please take it off, please take it off. To their credit, they whipped it off me. But I remembered that there were about 25 people waiting outside. I remembered that my um, surgeon had told me I was not eligible for surgery. I had to cope with radiation. So I literally thought, suck it up. And I said, put it back on. But it was just a desperately difficult and panic-stricken experience. And to panic for 20 minutes uh, is a really remarkable thing. But if it is possible through research to find an alternative to the mask, to remove the mask and keep us safe, I, I would love to live long enough to see that happen.